Hey everyone, Avenger Green here. It's been a while since my last tour review, but I am officially back and I'm following up on a promise. This is by starring a series of reviews on the Boom Boonger toy line. And we got the main mecha for this one, Boom Boonger Robo, the DX version. And, and yeah, they do have other versions like the Mini Plus, so this is the main commercial one. And we got Boom Boom Trailer right here, Boom Boom, boom Off-Road, and Boom Boom Wagon. And used by our main trio of rangers, at least before episode 5. Okay. Now, obviously we go for a vehicle thing. And I gotta say, I really do like the detailing on these guys. It's, yeah, they're obviously made of plastic, but... But, like I said, there's some good detailing. And I like all the mechanical works integrated into the plastic. And especially love the shine they used on the silver paint for some parts. Parts. The Boom Boonger trailer. It was pretty sturdy, and it rolls pretty well. Though, it does do this one thing where only if four out of the six wheels on it actually work. This is just molded plastic. And we got uh, the uh, Boom Boom Off-Road, unused by the Blue Ranger. They're pretty solid. Solid, and Wagon is pretty solid too. Yeah, these kind of do remind... I've heard some people compare these to Hot Wheels, and yeah, they do kind of remind me of slightly bigger versions. But, of course, like with, with any Power Ranger slash Super Sentai robot, there's a transformation sequence. And how it works is actually pretty interesting. So, in order to start, you want to take the trailer and put it in what's known as Gator Mode, where basically you just unpeg it... And see, you got the gate mode right there. And as you can see, this thing's pretty long. <laughs> and enter here. So it's got an exit right there. And what you're going to want to do is take, take the cars and slide them onto this little, little bit right here. Little it clicks into place. And here we go. Attack mode! So what this actually does is that there's a little mecha there's this mechanism at the bottom that gets pushed forward that gets pushed forward when it or when the track goes like that. That's and the whole gimmick is that each of the boom boom cars have like a spring mechanism inside them that lets them shift from their regular vehicle mode to attack mode. And of course, now we get to the transformation sequence. So it's actually pretty simple. I well intuitive. So first up, you take the track, you put it like that. Now you put the arms back. You spin the leg bits around on both sides. You bring them down. And let me just adjust the camera for a second. And bring it down. The legs down a bit. And Bring this pair back. And yes, you have the basic Ick Boom Boonger Robo. And this is how it is by default. So then you, you, know, you just... The tracks turn into like a cool little wings or capes as it is in the show. And you take Boom Boom Off-Road. And again, just like with like attaching it to the tracks, you attach it to these little nubs on uh, the arm until it clicks into place. And wagon actually has has some of those grooves on the top of it, so you just slide it into place on the arm, and voila, you have Boom Boonja Robo.
Oh, now I've heard some people complain that this toy is a bit more of a brick compared to the more articulated ones we got uh, from like, uh, you know, from Dawn Brothers and King Oger. But as someone who had the King Oger figure, I will just say I much prefer or or a brick toy like Boom Boonger or Robo here compared to King Oger, or because that thing was articulated, but the knees were so. These were so weak it couldn't handle the bulk of the Megazord mode or just all the robot. But, but it still has some articulation. You can move its arm joints back and forth like this. You can push, you can pull this tab up to pull, bring its arm forward. Do that with that same arm. Arm and the legs can move back and forth. But yeah, no knee articulation or waist articulation, and not even really any head articulation. But again. And I'm, unlike the DX King Oger, this guy has not fallen off my shelf elf once. once. It is solidly, it is a solid toy that stays up under its own power. And you kn and you know for a fact that there's going to be like more, more like Ultra Zord combinations and stuff for this guy. I so yeah, I'd rather have have a more solid figure. And overall, I just like the look of look of Boom Boom Jerobo. Oh, he's got a got a really nice nice expression, and got at the, those solid eyes because in the show he's actually a living character. Character, and yeah, for a it's a pretty good base robot mode. A lot more white than you would expect. Actually, obviously, the off road becomes a sort of a big fist weapon for it. I oh, know this is wagon. Sorry, not. All right, this is off road, and off road becomes a screwdriver sword thing, thing which is surprisingly effective in battle. Oh, and uh, there is one more thing. There's one more accessory that my DX X Boom Boom Dr. Robo came with. Sorry for shaking the camera there a bit. But yeah, it came with this small thing, which is actually going to be used for a future video. But it holds a visor. Because if you watch Boom Boonger, you know that Taya, Mira, uh, Chashira, and the others, they are aided by a robot buddy. Who basically is the Boom Boonger Robo in human mode. mode Bundorio Bunderes. Eris, who is... Eris, who is played energetically well by Rika Matsumoto. Oh, so yeah. You, if you want just a bigger Bundorio oh, toy, oh, you got that in. And here, you just gotta attach this little thing. Think so, yeah. You, yeah, you can definitely notice as that compared to the more serious face of Boom Boom Jerobo, oh, the eyes of Bundorio are a lot are circular and a lot more friendly. And there was one more, more nice bonus that came in prepackaged with this figure. Let me just reattach wagon and off-road and yeah that's one thing i like i like how it really clicks all into place it's very it's very nice so yeah this is the boom booger super the boom boom supercar it basically is their main mode of transportation and while and just for ground fights it's, it's got a cool uh little thruster slash blast cannon mode and uh, and this was also like a model kit. Like it was actually, I actually had to piece this together. It was fairly simple to do. Ooh, but check this out. It can also it can also attach to Boom Boom Jerobo. Oh, and act as like a hand as an arm cannon. And so. And yeah, yeah, this basically came with my came as like a bonus when I ordered it on uh, Toe Collectibles. I don't know if they'll still do that if you order the just the DX Boom Boonger or Robo by itself or any of the combo packs. Thanks, but it was relatively it was fairly priced. So yeah, that's Boom Boonger Robo. I oh DX Boom Boonger Robo. I am really enjoying playing this figure. He looks really damn cool. Well, and I've overall just been enjoying the heck out of the show he comes from, um, Bakudai Sentai Boom Boonger. Er, I've, 
And if you've been following my writing blog, I uh, you can tell I'm honestly a, a really digging the show. Oh, I'd say hey, sometimes a really cool mecha design I makes or breaks if I enjoy a Sentai series or not. Right. So that's all I got for, for today's video. Oh, I'm a bit rusty since I haven't really done a lot of video reviews since two th most of 2024. Or, but I'm hoping to I get back into the swing of things. And if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification button so you always know when I upload a new video. Oh, see you next time.